Hi there, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. In this video, we're going to explain how to upgrade to the Stamp Manage 2016. And this video applies not only to um, the deluxe version, which is what you're going to be seeing here, but the USA and Canada version as well. So, uh, right on the screen right now, you see Stamp Manage Deluxe 2015. You've got a customer with a huge database. Just in Bolivia here, you see uh, 329 items. It's a very large collection. Um, first of all, before you before you upgrade, please back up your database uh, in the small chance something goes wrong. We need to, if we can get a hold of that backup zip file, which is the format the backup is stored in. If we can uh, get that, uh, we can recreate your database, no problem. Um, now, depending on what version of Stamp Manager you're upgrading from, you may or may not have the up, uh, backup to the internet. If you do, it'll be here, file backup data to internet, just select that and back up your database to the internet. Uh, and if not, just do a local backup so you can check file backup database. And we did a couple previous backups here to, to test, but uh, uh, you can just accept the default name or you can enter a new name if you want. So you just say final 2015, we'll get, which will give it a name that you can understand. Click save, it's going to back up your database. Now the backup, what it does is it backs up your database file, which is all the text you enter into the program, and it's going to back up any images that you've also attached to your records. I'm not talking about images that ship with the software, I'm talking about images that you have explicitly added to your inventory. So Now once we've done that, we need to exit the program. And the reason is uh, that is that the uh, upgrade is going to overwrite the exe file, and it can't do that if the program is actually running. So, I'm just going to have to go ahead and exit the program. Click exit here. Now, for the purposes of this uh, video, we're going to show you the uh, DVD upgrade. Uh, so, when you receive your DVD in the mail, and you insert the DVD into your software, uh, you're going to see a autoplay a menu like this. Now, if you don't see it after you insert the DVD into the software, uh, let's just simulate that here. What you can just do is go to the DVD drive and um, it will actually uh, run the autoexec program uh, or you could just run the autoexec.exe auto run.exe file I believe it's called directly from the DVD so anyway now now that we have the auto the DVD running uh, you could do several things you could subscribe to the damage videos check out our support page look at the documentation we'll just do that now the uh, documentations in PDF format you could print it out or email it or whatever Okay, so now to actually uh, install the program, you're just going to click here, Install Stamp Manage 2016. Now, it, depending on your computer, it may take a lot longer to load than that. Um, if you have an older computer with a slow DVD, it could take quite a while for the program to actually, to set a program to actually start running. Now, if you purchase the download version, uh, which you're going to be seeing this screen as soon as you double click on the exe file you download, going to be downloading a 3.6 gigabyte uh, exe file and it's, when you double click on it you should see this uh, after it finishes loading so first of all we got the uh, introduction screen license agreement click here to agree now it's just telling you information on, on upgrading from a demo which I will hopefully explain to you uh, click next now the first screen is where do you want to install a stand managed exe file to now in most, pretty much every case I can think of, you're just going to want to install it to the program file stamp manage folder. Um, now, now that you've done that, click next. Now this is an important screen. Uh, the data folder is where your stamp manage database file is going to be stored. And in some cases, uh, um, the default is to st store it in the user's documents folder. And the reason for that is uh, uh, recently, Windows is, I guess, sort of mandated that uh, program data should in 
in virtually all cases be stored in, doc in the documents folder or in a folder underneath there. If you look at any Microsoft program, you're going to see all the, for example, my, you know, your Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Access, uh, uh, the date, most of the data is stored in, in the documents folder. And um, another important reason for this is, let's say you buy a backup program. Um, when you run the backup program and you, and you do a backup, you know what it's going to default to? It's going to default to just backing up your My Documents data. Uh, and so if you store the data in some older folder on your, back, on your hard drive, you may have to actually go in and change the backup uh, uh, program to, to back up the data from that folder as well. So Another thing we run into with upgrades is if you're using an older computer, or older version of Stan Manage, in some cases you'll have the data file underneath the program files slash stamp manage folder which is you'll have it in the same folder as the exe file and that is not good and the reason for that is in Windows 10 and more recent versions of Windows uh, any folder underneath the uh, program files and program files x86 folders are marked as read only and so if you store a data file in a read only folder you're going to be getting errors when you run the program so if that's the case, go in and change, click the change there and uh, store it. What you can do here is click on documents, make a new folder, uh, just create a new folder to store your stamp managed data. Another consideration is if you're, let's say you're using stamp managed on two separate computers um, and you want to store the data on an external hard drive and you're absolutely sure about this, uh, what, what you should do is store the data file on the external uh, drive and to do that you're going to change here I'm going to find the external drive right here I have one here which is like a basically a USB external drive I have so you just go there um, create a folder and for stamp manage and you're going to uh, then specify that the data is stored in that folder now that means that Every time you run the program, it's looking for the data file in that folder. So if you don't have your external drive attached, the program's not going to work properly. So you have to be sure about that. Okay, so we click Next there. Stamp images, the exact same applies. Um, you don't want to store your stamp images in a read-only folder. So uh, if this is the kind of default you're seeing, the do uh, documents under your username, go ahead and, and uh, select that. If for some reason, again, you don't want to need want to store your images on your local hard drive, you want to store them on an external drive, just change it, create a folder on your external hard drive, and um, like as in the database, uh, the same principle applies. Two computers can hook up to the external drive and uh, use the data directly from there. Okay, I made a, actually I made a small error here. This is the uh, this is the uh, screen for the stamp manage images. So this is for the, in this case, 170,000 images that ship with their software, okay? So that's different than the images that you explicitly attach to your records, which are stored in a separate folder. You'll see on the next screen. So here, if you don't want to store 170,000 images on your hard drive, and nowadays hard drives are really huge, so, but if you really don't want to do that, you can specify that the stamp image images be stored on the external hard drive. Same again with this next screen. Now this is the user images. That is the images that you explicitly attach to your images using the uh, image tab in the add or edit stamp dialog. So again, click next reports. The reports folder is a folder that contains uh, uh, all the reports in the program obviously and each report is a separate file which consists of a .lst and a .ls, uh, .lsv file as well. So Now if you have trouble running reports just make sure that when you when you actually look in this folder you see the lst and lsv files. You've had situations where uh, customer um, couldn't run, couldn't run any reports and it was because for some reason they screwed up the installation of their reports. Um, not really sure how that happened, but it has happened a few times. So, Shortcut folder, state managed 2016. Now in this edition what we've done is 
if you got previous fo uh, folders and icons for stamp manage like if you still have the stamp manage 2015 icon which i see right here it's going to replace this with 2016 and so uh, you shouldn't have two icons sitting around which it was the case in some previous versions so okay so we click next now line up stamp search this is a nice uh, program to have um it's a program that lets you search the internet over 600,000 images in their image database and uh basically any image in our program you can tell it to search using lineup stamp search and it'll find it on all sorts of sites over the internet ebay uh small little stamp collecting sites you never heard of uh it's just going to look for that particular stamp image and uh, i believe it cost 19.95 the demo is the usa only stamp demo which is free uh, but if you want to go ahead and purchase it it's 19 dollars 95 cents so that's a consideration there click next shortcut folder click next and now you're gonna probably have to wait quite a while uh, it's installing 170,000 images uh, it's not going to take as long because uh, when you upgrade many of the images are already there so it doesn't need to write them again because they're already there so uh, but if you're starting fresh uh, it will take quite a while so Okay, so um, the uh, install finished. That took about probably about half an hour. I'm sure you don't want to sit through all that, so I just skipped. Uh, and so after Stand Manage 2016 installs, you're going to see this end screen here. Click Finish. And now we're going to run Stand Manage 2016. First of all, notice the Stand Manage 2015 icon has been replaced by this one. So you should see this on your desktop now. Double click on it. And first time you run the 2016, it's going to be doing some importing. You'll see here momentarily. Okay, so the uh, import is finished, and uh, now we're... Um, running the 2016 edition, you can see immediately you get some f nice flags here as opposed to uh, having every country look the same as it did previously. So um, just make sure everything's where it should be and your data is still there. Um, now, another thing to do is, I know you've just started the program, but go ahead and exit the program and start it again. The reason for that is, that's a couple situations where the 2016 value database was not uh, uh, present the first time you ran the program after upgrading. So just go ahead and do that to be certain. Run the program again. See. Looks like everything imported correctly. Um, so. Uh, another thing that happens is after you uh, install is it's gonna it should uh, bring up your web browser with this uh, intro page, and right here we've got an intro to Stand Manage Deluxe 2016. You can go ahead; that's about 12 minutes just to introduce you to the program, and uh, please uh, subscribe to Stand Manage Stamp Collecting Software. We've got a lot of videos there that get help you get started. We're gonna do another one actually on the the new expenses feature pretty shortly, so. I uh, can go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, now, after you've after you've uh, upgraded, you want to apply the values. So we made about fifteen thousand value changes for the twenty sixteen edition, and so what you can do is click Tools, Apply Values to Collections, and you've got all your value databases this is an older version of stamp manager as you can see uh, you you'll probably see a lot less value tables than this depending on how many times you've upgraded so anyway select uh, 2016 you're going to uh, in most cases just select your collections not your want list or sold stamps click OK and it's going to update 
all your values to 2016. Actually, one thing I just uh, recall I did not show you is uh, when you first run 2016, you should ask you for your activation code. Now, on this machine, I previously installed 2016, so that's why it bypassed the activation code. But uh, I can simulate that by um, if any any time you want to move your copy of stand image to another machine, what you can do is deactivate your license. You select Tools, Licensing, Deactivate License. Uh, you can also see your activation code in the About box now, so you could. Right mouse click copy that if you ever need to send it to us. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and deactivate. It deactivates the program. Okay. Now, when I run it this time, it's going to ask you to activate your license code. You go ahead and just click on there and enter your code as well. So, uh, that's enough for one video. Um, like I said, there's other videos you can look at, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching. Take care.